Have you ever read the world is yours? On a bloom? Tell it be free, baby, spread your What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. What you guys are about to witness is my second weekend hosting the Influencer Academy event. This is my second live event ever and it was terrifying, but it was so amazing. So if you guys watched my last video, you may have saw me break down a little bit, roll the clip. I want it to be easy where I just know exactly what to say and I'm like, it's easy for me to pick up this camera and like talk to you guys and it hasn't been lately. And there's even been points where I'm just like, I want to take a break and I don't know what to say. And it's just like, my creativity has just been like suppressed. Number one, I just want to say thank you guys for all the love on that video. I so feel you guys and where you guys are at. I do want to say that after this weekend, that, that confusion, it honestly just left my body after the whole entire event went down. My students flew in from all over the country, from Alaska, from New York, from Oklahoma, from all different places, from Montreal, and it was absolutely incredible. It was like 10 times better than the last one. The last one was amazing, but this one everyone said was just so, so much more. We went through so much emotional stuff. People cried. People found their life purpose from one of the speakers. People realize what their next steps were. We workshopped with each other and we just really got to know each other and the amount of love and clarity and peace and happiness and powerfulness and empowerment that we felt all weekend was the absolute best. So let's go ahead and get the video started. We started off the morning with a little bit of emotional work. We had a workshop piece going on where we were listening to each other and just like not responding to what people were saying. We were just opening up our hearts, opening up to how we felt at that moment. And everybody in the little groups were just listening and everyone got to rotate. It was super powerful. We set our intentions for the day. And then we got into speakers. Our first speaker was Brian Pataka. He is a life coach. His podcast is actually coming out super soon, guys. Stay tuned for that. Brian is amazing. He has a huge personality, but he also knows how to like really bring you in and clarify what you're trying to do in your life. So you guys can also utilize a sample session with Brian. He opened that up to the Influencer Academy. But if you guys are interested as well, his email's right down below. You see someone at Starbucks, you make a judgment about them. You decide this is how much money this bitch has, this kind of car she drives, she has this many kids, look at her ring, look at her clothes, right? Normal. That's a normal part of being a human being because in the olden days, like way olden days, you had to assess somebody out and check out if they were going to kill you because you were a cave person, right? You had to check things out, right? So it is normal that we have a quick way to make judgments about people. There's two parts of your brain that I want to talk about today. Your fast part of your brain and your slow part of your brain. The quiet, the slower part of your brain is where you can get closer to hearing what the universe wants for you. And you're going to close your eyes. We're going to do four short visualizations, okay? Imagine that you're a large group of people milling about in front of a stage. Up on the stage is your future self. Your future self begins to speak to this large group of people. Suddenly, you become aware of a shift that has happened to you and the entire audience. Aware of this impact on yourself and the others, you leave the room altered for the rest of your life. What was the impact your future self had on you and the others? Who was your future self being to have such an impact. You will have a chance to have any impact you want on this entire group. It will be only one chance, one impact, but all of these people will be changed in some way. They will have a different life because of the impact you have had on them. Go back and look at your paper now. Just take a minute. Notice if any words were repeated, and if they were, I want you to circle them. Knowing this, kind of, what I want to do is talk about the impact that you can have. So I'm going towards a phrase. Where I'm heading is a phrase. It's like a, your life purpose statement, all right? This just sounds a little hokey when I say it, I think. Mm -hmm. But what it is, is it's a way to know, am I running my business and my life from the point of view of who I really want to be? Let me offer one to you, and you're going to say, no, I hate that, or yes, I like it, or let's change it. So I am the fingernails, but I'm not the what? Anxiety. Great. Is that the word? Great. Yeah. So people can feel... Love. Compassion, can feel love. Does that encompass these words for you? Yeah. It does? Definitely. Great. Yeah. So can you stand up and say that? Okay, I am the person, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> You're the fingernails. See, this is why I'm in the audience and not on the stage. I am the fingernails, but I'm not the anxiety 
so that people feel loved. Hey, I've always wanted to find that purpose. It feels great. Good. So our second speakers were Lori and Chris Harder, two of the most amazing humans that I know. I admire them so, so much. Just their stories are so incredible, but they both have podcasts, the Earn Your Happy podcast that I was on with Lori and I interviewed her for mine. And Chris Harder has the For the Love of Money podcast, which the motto of is when great people make great money, they can do great things. We were able to keep up on that ridiculous pace until all of a sudden one day, I took a $150,000 pay cut and we looked at each other and said, what are we gonna do? And we thought that was bad. The next year, I actually lost my job entirely. And we had to start from scratch. So we had to sell the homes, the cars, the rental properties, we lost our rental properties. Like we didn't start from the bottom. We started from like below zero. Now here's the cool part of the story though. It forced us to start getting into self-development. It forced us to start figuring out who we really wanted to be. Because while we were, while I was successful in banking, I wasn't happy. With every promotion, I got further and further away from what I really wanted to be doing. Have you guys ever woke up one day and just said, how did I get here? Yeah, that was me. I always had like these soul hits. Do you know what I'm talking about? When you know you're just born for something and you know you're supposed to be doing something bigger than you're doing, but I was just so damn comfortable that I wasn't doing anything about it. So when we actually lost everything, I had this moment of you know, watching him kind of lose who he was because his identity was so attached to this business and making money. I had started training people, sorry, prior to the six years, realizing well, at least I want to help people's transformation because fitness had become such a huge part of my transformation. Um, so I was really forced into starting to train women because I had actually gotten certified twice before this and never used it because I was too scared to do it. I shared my dream with everyone. That was one thing that I will tell you. Once I started realizing what I wanted to do, I started talking about it to everyone. And if you don't do that, things most likely will not happen in your life that you want to happen because I really do believe it's all about tribe. So like just share your passion with every single person you possibly can. No matter what it looks like on Instagram or anywhere else when you see other people's businesses, the only way they got there, if they've even really gotten there, is they started in that really shitty place where everything was ugly, everything was broken, and everything was just barely pieced together. And they spent more time in that place than you probably think that mm -hmm. they spent there. And here's why I share that with you. The majority of you said you are less than three years into building your business you're probably still in that place where it looks like everybody else is growing faster than you, where it looks like your stuff feels so half-assed and their stuff looks so polished. Trust me, their stuff is not as polished when you look inside of it as it looks on Instagram or anywhere else that you see them. Or it is as polished and they spent a lot more time in that rough zone where you are right now. And so you're exactly right where you should be. The second thing is, and you left this part out of your story, but it's so important. Do you remember your first client who came down to the super crappy half-assed finished gym? In the Range Rover? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember she pulled up in this brand new Range Rover, which to me Range Rover just meant success or something. I don't even know what it meant to me. I was like, oh my God, she's going to come down to the basement. And so I bring her down and I'm like, I'm remodeling. <laughs> and she was like, great. And so for a year, she was my client in my unremodeled basement. Yeah. So she didn't see any remodeling done over the course of that year. But that's the second point is your ego is going to get in the way. Yeah. And a lot of people will stop right there or they'll check out right there. And you can't. Like, it doesn't matter who's going to judge you. It doesn't matter how you're feeling inside about, you know, your own personal business, you've got to step through that ego anyways. And, and we actually developed the saying, and that is your ego is your greatest overhead. Think about it, your ego is your greatest overhead because your ego will stop you from speaking up when maybe you're about to speak up to somebody who could change your life or change your business. Your ego will stop you from inviting somebody into your business because you're afraid of judgment. Your ego may cause you to buy too nice or too shiny of things while you're not quite ready to have bought those things and now you don't have that revenue for your business, like your ego truly is your greatest overhead. And we had to learn that the hard way from when we had to sell everything that was shiny and start over, from when we had to have people, you know, clients show up in Range Rovers in our horribly disgusting broken mirror gym. Those are the parts that really shape who you are. And last but not least, we got to go around the room at the end of the day and talk about everybody 
loved the most from the day. Not feeling alone, feeling like I have people that are going through the same thing that I can go to and talk and listen to you guys talk. Your stories are so inspiring. It just motivates me to keep going. <laughs> I've been watching you, I've watched all your videos, and I'm just so excited to be here and I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to come, first of all, and secondly, I'm just so excited to watch all of your growth. But just having like clarity of like where I'm at now and where I am going to be. It's just like amazing to have like a place that I fit and you know we all feel the same, so thank you guys. Hearing everyone's tips, oh my god, I got so many. And I'm so glad <laughs> I did because I, I had a problem and then it just got fixed. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, like, I learned so much and I'm so glad I did that. Uh, hold on. Mm. Okay, how do I like get up? Okay, um, this group stretches me so much and I love all you guys for being here. Um, I feel like after today I'm like so in purpose and I just feel so happy that you guys are all happy. <laughs> And you guys, I just felt at the end of the day that it was just, I felt so clear and I felt like what I was struggling with the other day, I felt like at the end of this day was what I was, I felt like I knew what I was meant to do in the world, even though like it might seem like I know and I'm put together and stuff. Sometimes it, it can be confusing and you kind of know, but then the path gets a little blurry. We're all human and we all have that happen to us as I can tell by the comment section of the last video. And then at the end of the day, when everybody was going around the room saying exactly how they felt, I felt it so deeply in my heart that I was put on this earth to do this. And I remember specifically, when I first moved to Los Angeles, I didn't want to go. I was resistant. I thought I had no money. I thought that I wasn't going to make it. I thought I wasn't going to get a job. I thought it was going to be too hard to have like a new city, new friends, all this stuff. And somebody had to convince me to go. And once I finally said yes, I like basically got dragged here. Obviously, it was one of the most monumental times of my whole entire life. It changed everything for me. The trajectory of my life went in a completely different way. And that is possible for you. It is possible for what you're doing right now where you feel cushy, you feel comfortable. If you do feel like that, it is completely possible for you to change your own life, whether you're starting to read new and different books, whether you're starting to listen to more self-help, personal development stuff, whether you're just like gaining new skills for something that you want to do, whether you're just getting outside of your comfort zone and going to a karaoke bar alone and singing because it's what you love, whether it's moving to a different state, even if it's just the next town over and you have to make new friends and you have to go to a new job and like be outgoing and do something that feels kind of icky and weird to you at the time. Not icky, just just like cringy, I guess. It's terrifying, it's fucking terrifying, trust me. But you are the only person that can change the trajectory of your life. Nobody else can do it for you. People can guide you, like I've guided them, but they all came here, did the work, they're still continuously doing the work throughout the rest of the time that they're in the program and then they're after, forever after as well. Sometimes you just need a couple more tools to guide you, whether that's podcasts, books, a program, whatever it happens to be. But I just wanna let you guys know that it is possible for you. Cause we're do the same
Have you ever read the world is yours? On a blimp Tell it be free, baby, spread your wings Set your legs in the sky like a plane Let me guide that, I'm the pilot Empowered at the end of the day, they knew the structure and the blueprint of how exactly they were going to leave and pursue their dreams, and that's what made me the most happy today. I just want to show you guys what's possible for you. It just makes me so happy, and I hope you guys find that kind of happiness in your life as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have a hot dinner date tonight with Selena. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all.